In this video, we're going to take a look at translating meta content with WPML. Now, meta content is content that is around your primary content. An excellent example is things in your sidebar on your blog. We have an archives widget, a categories widget, and an events widget. And inside the categories and archives is a drop down. Now, some of these widgets will come pre translated. Let's switch to Spanish and I'll show you what I mean. Just like that, the contents in our drop down menus were translated. And the text of our events widget was translated, but not the title. Let's go to our widgets page. Here's our sidebar with archives, categories, and events. Now, archives and categories are built into WordPress. So if I take out my hard coded English title and save, it will default to the proper translated one. That works for any widget supplied by WordPress. So just like that, two of my widgets are translated. But now we want to translate this title, which did not come from WordPress. It came from a plugin called the Events Calendar. For translating strings like that, we want to go under the WPML menu to the String Translation area. Now this is an add-on for WPML, but it's free if you have a WPML license. So you simply need to go to their website and download that plugin and install it. Now if we scroll down, you'll note that there are over 10,000 strings available in this website, and this is not a large website. So the trick is to find exactly what you need using this search form at the top. We know that we want the words upcoming events, and we know that it's a widget. So we want to search within a domain of widgets. Now there are only 12 strings in the widgets domain, and it's showing them all to us, and we can see ours right there. But imagine for a moment that there were dozens or hundreds. We can also narrow our search by putting in exactly what we want. And here we have a widget title called Upcoming Events. And now I can click Translations. I can simply paste in my translation. Now if I hit Save, but don't choose Translation as Complete, it stores it there but does not put it on the page yet. In order for it to appear on the page, I must choose Translation as Complete. This allows somebody to put in a translation and then perhaps suggest to a colleague that they check it. And there we have a translated widget title. Now string translation can work for any string in WordPress. As you can see, there are many domains. Contact Form 7 is a popular contact plugin, and there are 317 strings available to be translated. My theme is called Make, and there are 578. Now many of those are in the admin area, and so you don't want to mess with translating everything. All you really need to do is find something on the front of your website that you need to change. Then you simply use this excellent search form at the top of the page to narrow your search to find the string you want, and then you can put in any translation you wish. In our next video, we'll take a look at how to translate your site menus with WPML.